morning everyone. Thank you for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann and today um, this is a <laughs> when something goes wrong or when you forget to do something um, that's when the most brightest ideas can come from. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So today I was putting together some hostess packets and I had them all sealed up uh, ready to put some stamps on it and realized that I forgot something that I felt was fairly important to be part of the packet. So I decided to make a video <laughs> to show you guys what I put in my hostess packets and this brilliant little idea that I came up with that I thought was um, fairly ingenious but it was based on a mistake so figure that one out. Um, okay so my hostess packets are very simple. I don't like to overwhelm. I don't like to overwhelm with anything. If you guys know me by now, you know that I try to keep things as simple as possible. So this is what my hostess packs consist of for the most part, okay? I use a six by nine envelope, just a regular six by nine envelope. You can get them fairly cheap at the office supplies. Um, I always mark my addresses with a Sharpie, um, just so you can see what it looks like, um, because I just think it looks better in the mail. And um, I always use my return address labels as well that I have made up. And typically I just seal up the back and make it pretty simple. Okay, so that's what happened today. I was half done. <laughs> I had it sealed up and I thought, oh. I forgot to put in the warmer of the month so that they knew what they were getting. All right, so this is what I usually have in my hostess packets. Depending on who it is, what they're doing, if it's a home party that I'm going to be doing, I send two catalogs. So these are the two new catalogs. Um, I always make sure to put my information on the back, which I have labels for, which I don't have them here. Um, then I also make sure that I have five, at least five order forms that I put in as well. Um, I always put in a join brochure and a lot of times I have them set up where I have a scent circle and a business card stapled to this and that's what goes in there. So the scent circle is a thank you for booking the party and hosting it. Um, and then of course you want to give them your information to join because you always want to offer that opportunity. Then um, I always put in the hostess specials, which is either um, the exclusives that they can get. Now this is something that we can find on the workstation. It's also in the catalog. Um, so this is just a simple sheet to show what they can get at half price um, and with their rewards. So this is something that goes every month. And then I also do the Hostess exclusive if we have one. And so for September, it's um, Sunny the Squirrel with a book, which I think is awesome. I have to get him. Um, and the fact that it comes with a little book is, I think, great. Uh, it's called Tale of the Little Squirrel. <laughs> um, he's part of the Forest Collection. I think he's adorable. Okay, so I usually take these and I will fold them outward so it will entice them to um, look and they can see the, the biggest part of it there. Then typically I will put um, one of the flyers for the scent and warmer of the month in that as well. Typically I have to fold it because it won't fit otherwise. Um, and then I put that in the envelope, but this is what happened. I forgot to put this in. So what I did is I cut the warmer. See the difference? All I did was take the monthly specials top part off. Okay. I took my glue stick and I glued it to the back of the envelope. <laughs> um, so we're always wanting to have, you know, nice looking envelopes to entice people. When it goes through the mail, you don't know how many hands this goes through. So to entice from the outside like this, I think is awesome. Perfect little example of a mistake. So then, um, for instance, this is my Tiffany and she's going to be receiving this in the mail. So I have everything that I just told you 
uh, with the catalogs and everything inside this packet except for this is on the outside. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take my stickers that I got in my Scent and Warmer of the Month kit and I'm going to peel one off and I'm going to put it right on the front just like that so that that's part of um, the package. So now I'm ready to mail it out. I have it all set up. This is a hostess package. Simple, concise. It has everything they need. I can smell the licorice because I'm waving this around <laughs> um, for sugar and spice. But I, put, I always put, no matter what mailing I put out, whether it's sending out bills or uh, paying bills or whatever, I always put one of these scratch and stiff snickers on it. I think it's awesome. Love it, love it. So, finished results. Sticker on the front, return address, marker with their information for mailing. On the back, I have the warmer of the month. Inside, I have catalogs, order forms, um, catalogs, order forms, the hostess exclusive, and the host specials. And then, of course, a join, bro join brochure, and I usually put in a scent circle as a thank you. Um, and that is all for a hostess packet. So prior to a home party, this is what I send them. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.